Outdoors Del Marva covers everything outdoors, including real hunting and fishing situations involving wildlife. Now, we do our best each week to bring you tasteful content, but viewer discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. We begin this week in Berlin for some outdoor dining at Windmill Creek Winery. It's then off to Patriot Point for duck hunting with the Grand National Waterfowl Association. Scorchy Taws takes us to Del Mar to meet a model railroad enthusiast. And then we head to Smyrna to meet the latest recipient of the WBOC Mount Air Farm to Table Scholarship. Outdoors Del Marva starts right now. Welcome to Outdoors Del Marva, the show that celebrates our communities, our cultures and traditions, and the places we call home. My name is Jason Lee. And I'm Lauren Hitch. Lauren, are you making any New Year's resolutions? No, to be honest, I actually don't make any New Year's resolutions. What about you? Oh, my New Year's resolution is watching TV in 4K or better. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't get it. Is this funny? Yeah, Res New Year's resolution. <gasps> 4K. Yeah. That's a yeah. great one. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And now, here's Jason Lee and Lauren Hitch. It's pretty chilly outside these days, and so the idea of outdoor dining might not appeal to you. But we have a feeling you might change your mind after a visit to Windmill Creek Winery in Berlin. <laughs> Now, Jeannie, tell us a little bit about the igloo experience here at Windmill Creek. Okay, so we started igloos here during COVID. It was our way of keeping the people coming and keeping them separated. It's It kind of took on a life of its own. So this year we expanded from 10 igloos up to 18. So we have eight igloos that'll seat um, six people and two igloos that'll seat up to 14. Uh, party igloos, they're a lot of fun. Um, so it's a full dining experience. You have a server. You, we bring you out and you sit in the, the igloo. We have heaters and blankets. It's, they're, they're cozy, toasty warm. It's a fun experience. Uh, you get together with family and friends and, and uh, it's just a cool environment. Now, Brittany, you're a sixth generation into this whole thing. What's that mean to you? For one, it's an honor to be able to carry on the family legacy. It, growing up on this farm, I, uh, I spent almost every day out here with my grandfather and um, just running around, you know, helping with the chickens and all the farm animals and stuff. He would um, take me out into the front yard and one of my main jobs was to pick dandelions and uh, that's kind of how we got into the wine business. We were making dandelion wine right here on the farm and um, it's a tradition that my family's done all the way back for six generations now. Um, so be able to bring it to a business standpoint and really be able to commercially do it and uh, bring the, the community out here has been really cool. Just be able to teach people about the wine and the Eastern Shore and just the history of farm wine, you know, just being able to make um, make the fun stuff from what grows on the property and, and then be able to know that you can make a real job out of it, you know, you can make those dreams come true. To learn more or make a reservation, go to windmillcreekvineyard.com. Coming up next, we head to Madison for the Grand National. Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru, returns right after these messages.